Zelda Wii U, Metroid, Star Fox, New 3D Mario. What does Nintendo have in store for us? My name is Conrad Vanus, the Commonwealth Realm, and welcome to the second part of the State of the Realm discussion special on, on this year's E3. And like last time, I am joined by my common buddies, the King of Hype, HMK, the one and only McIntyre Productions, Zelda Universes, Game Over Jesse, and my favorite Brit, Zeltic. So guys, what do you think Nintendo has in store for us at this E3 after Zelda Wii U was delayed to 2016? For Nintendo, I what they really need, what needs to happen is they need to show off a bunch of big new IPs because when it comes to E3, Nintendo's always been one to be very secretive of what they, you know, really announce. A lot of uh, other developers, they like to hit give like hints and clues to what they will show off to get like hype rolling but nintendo they're pretty much ninjas when it comes to this kind of stuff and what they really need to show is something big because of course with Zelda we use absence or supposed absence at e3 this year they need to bounce back with something big now the one thing that we do know is going to be a3 is star fox for you obviously but i feel that's not enough for what they, you know, for the hype they've been promising up until like a couple of months ago, they're like, yeah, so the Wii U is coming out 2015. It's going to be at E3 2015. With all that hype lost, they really need to bounce back. And I really don't think that Star Fox Wii U and Mario Maker is going to be enough in order to recapture the people's attention with, you know, the loss of Zelda Wii U. So what they need is something big, bold, and um, something new. You know, if it's something Zelda related, maybe like a Twilight Princess HD remake for the Wii U. I would be mildly happy with that, but I mean, they need something to like burst out. They kind of need it. They need to come out swinging this year because last year they did that and they kept the hype going and they literally won E3 last year. They had the Smash tournament. They showed off more stuff about Smash Wii U. They announced Zelda Wii U. They did a lot of stuff for uh, Yoshi's Woolly World. They did that teaser for Star Fox Wii U. They set up a lot of stuff. So they need to just repeat, rinse, wash, repeat what they did last year for this year. So that's what I think. Basically, the speculations go mostly about that this is actually the year of Mario. We had the year of Luigi, uh, we had the year of Smash, and now we have the year of Mario in the absence of Zelda, of course. The year of Zelda will be 2016. We need to just realize that. But Mario has been rather absent, and Mario Maker is more of just a creator's tool more than actually a game. We haven't got any information about built-in campaigns, so there is some rumors going on that we might get a new 3D Mario game. And besides, many believe that in order for Nintendo to keep up with the other uh, large uh, console makers, Sony and Microsoft, they need to announce a new Metroid title for either the 3DS or the Wii U. So Andy, what are your thoughts about uh, a potential upcoming Metroid title being revealed at this year's E3 or the digital event of Nintendo? First up, before I begin uh, displaying the possibilities of a new Metroid game, I will admit there hasn't been there has been a lackluster amount of Metroid information as of late, and what I found is that it's more likely that we'll see a Metroid 3DS game than a Metroid Wii U game, purely because we don't like Nintendo hasn't given um, any substantial amount of information that a Wii U game um, is in development. For example, this is a man by the name of Shinya Takahashi, along with Miyamoto, were at E3 last year discussing about potential Metroid gaming philosophies. These are two men who never have even touched a Metroid game in the past. And Shinya Takahashi also had a hand in producing Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. The development team behind that particular game is Next Level Games, and they have uh, worked on a scrapped Metroid 3DS project in the past. Shinya Takahashi is, um, in a sense, had a hand in that, and you could also say by proxy, Miyamoto had a hand in that as well. In terms of Metroid, there's a huge amount of discussion currently going on to do with Metroid and to be honest I'm not fully up to date with it. I know there's definitely the, you know, the desire for a new Metroid game and it's certainly something I hope Nintendo will capitalize on because it's, it's one of their big franchises along with Mario and Zelda and um, Samus and Metroid, it's 30th I think next year isn't it for Metroid or maybe it's soon anyway because um, it's all around the yeah, same time. So I wouldn't be surprised if they did release, uh, announce a Metroid game and perhaps schedule it for something to do with the 30th because I know the 25th uh, anniversary of Metroid was pretty much ignored by Nintendo. So I think Metroid is definitely a safe bet for Nintendo and that's what they'll announce at E3 because they certainly do need to get the hype going again after the announcement that Zelda's not going to show up at E3. <laughs> 
Okay, Andy, so we just uh, got a new tweet from Retro Studio saying, Can you dig it? And uh, they link to the official E3 website of Nintendo's E3 presentation. So, what could this mean? Are we right ahead of a Metroid announcement for the Wii U? Since Metroid is probably on the minds of many as of the moment, I do want to bring a couple of pointers about Retro Studios and their past and recent endeavors. The most recent project was Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, in which they co-developed that game with Monster Games, meaning that not all of their development resources were placed and allocated towards that particular project. And recently, a couple of months ago, they were on a hiring spree to uh, hire a lot of uh, graphics artists and particular directors for their staff. And so this has led us to believe that they are working on a new project in which uh, Katsuka Tanabe, the producer that also works in interchangeably between Retro and Nintendo, has stated that Retro is working on a new project. This could either mean two things. One, that Retro Studios is working on a new IP. And the other is obviously a new Metroid game. And since the advent that Nintendo has delayed the game Zelda Wii U, a lot of people are trying to bank on Metroid Wii U as kind of the savior of Nintendo in the place of Zelda Wii U, which may or may not be the case. But if I do find it a likely chance that Retro is working on a Metroid game, but there isn't really a substantial and tangible evidence that really proves that. And their latest tweet that I actually gave pretty recently, it said, can you dig it? And then they gave a link to e3nintendo.com. And that that phrase, can you dig it? That could be just be like a misnomer to another game. For example, some people are saying dig uh, Doug Prime Trilogy or something like that, in which there's a new IP where uh, this character digs a lot. It could be uh, another game besides Metroid or entirely. Or maybe this is just Retro's way to kind of throw people off and just get people to speculate. Whatever the case may be, they're obviously going to reveal something new at the press conference. But I do want to point out that 2016 is the 30th anniversary of the Metroid series, which I hope Nintendo won't throw Metroid under the bus like they did in the 25th anniversary of there. And um, I do find it likely that a Metroid 3DS game will, will be revealed at the event. And Metroid Wii U, that may or may not happen. I, I do have, I, I'm optimistic that a console Metroid game will be uh, revealed, but that would placing it in terms of uh, release, I would place it pretty close towards a 2016 release, and that's very close towards an NX um, launch title as well. The thing is about this E3 is that this is uh, probably the last E3 where we will not hear anything about uh, NX. And this is also the case with Zelda Wii U, with, uh, a potential Metroid title coming out. What games will come to the Wii U and what games will come to the NX? Which is this the last year where we will see announcements for the Wii U? And in this case, shouldn't Zelda Wii U appear? Since if the next time we will see Zelda Wii U in a proper uh, setting being E3 2016, then it will be shortly before the announcement or or it will be uh, during the announcement of the uh, Nintendo NX. So uh, how are we going to avoid another Skyward Sword trap where you of course release a Zelda game in the same year when you uh, release or unveil your new console? Obviously a massive discussion whether Zelda Wii U will do what Twilight Princess did and perhaps either be a dual release on the Wii U and the NX or simply an NX exclusive title. And um, while this certainly would create a, a very, very strong launch for the NX, I mean like very strong, that's part of why the Wii did so well in my opinion was because it had very, very strong launch titles with uh, Wii Sports targeting casual gamers and Twilight Princess targeting the more hardcore gamers. Um, so I think releasing Zelda Wii U on the NX would certainly be a good move for the NX. But I don't know, it, you'd make a good point that we would have to wait until 2017, probably at the earliest, before we actually saw a Zelda on the Nintendo NX. Um, but to be honest, currently, where I stand on this is I'm going to fully expect that it will come out on the Wii U because all we've heard so far is that it is coming out on the Wii U. Even in the development update where Aonuma confirms that they're, you know, not aiming for 2015, he keeps saying Wii U. He says it'll be the best experience it can be on the Wii U. Yeah. Uh, so basically, until we've heard otherwise, I'm, st I'm sticking with, you know, it's going to be Zelda Wii U and not Zelda NX. Yeah, there's two things that I would like to touch upon when it comes to this. Uh, the first being when Zelda was shown off at the Video Game Awards, they said it was a very last minute decision that at first they weren't even going to show it off. And then I remember back at New York Comic Con when Aonuma was there, he mentioned that they were planning on showing it off there. 
but they felt that it would take the focus away from A Link Between Worlds, so they ended up not showing it off. And they've kind of went back and forth on that decision before, so I kind of see it a possibility again for them to decide to show it off and it be very last a very another very last minute decision maybe a few days or even just a week before and i think with the delay and the teams had extra time to work on fixing stuff making it look a little bit better maybe adding a new gameplay mechanic entirely i think they would want to show off what they've been working on and feel proud of it and hope to get a sort of response that they've gotten back when twilight princess was released to sort of get an assurance from the zelda community that they are doing the right thing of course you know zelda is where it's at it's my favorite series it's our favorite series um i definitely want to be able to see something in zelda wii u anything because i remember our scenario that um nintendo was pulling where it's like oh yeah we're not going to show much about zelda this year at, in e3 2009 and they showed off that one piece of concept art that eventually led to the announcement of Skyward Sword next year. I mean, the year after that. Uh, and I'm definitely down if they were to pull something like that, some sort of concept art, a name maybe. You know, all these rumors are floating around saying that we may get a trailer, we may get an official name, we may get some concept art. Hey, I will be happy with any one of those. If we get all of that, that's great. But I still want Zelda Wii U to have some sort of presence at E3 because that is what Nintendo sorely needs. When I heard that announcement where it's not going to be at E3, I'm like, what are you guys thinking? Seriously, this is arguably your most hyped series. Yeah, Mario is your biggest series, but Zelda is your most hyped series. This thing creates money. This thing creates memories. This, this thing creates legacies. And you're going to skip out on that when not only did you say it's not, um, not going to be uh, released this year, that's not your focus, even though you've constantly said it's going to be released in 2015, you guys need to, you know, stack that thing up and put it out in E3 in some way, shape or form. So I really hope they do. And part of me thinks they are. But, you know, a lot of people are saying that Nintendo's not dumb enough to use the uh, strategy of anti-hype. But I've seen them do it before, so I'm pretty, pretty hopeful conferences but i just want to point at one more thing and that is star fox wii u i know you are have uh, hopes uh, for the game uh hmk oh god yeah and uh, yeah. the question is is the game coming out this year and will there be a playable demo at e3 they need to have star fox wii u playable a3 they said shigeru miyamoto promised and he's gonna be at e3 and i'm trying and i've been applying to see if i can get a meeting with him he is gonna be a3 Star Fox Wii U is going to be at E3. He says the game is going to be released 2015. E3 is already halfway throughout the year. All right, I'm expecting Star Fox Wii U maybe sometime during the holiday season. But at the, uh, at the same time, we have to look at what they were saying during the Game Awards. How they said, oh, Majora's Mask 3D is going to release before Star Fox Wii U. And they're like, oh, Star Fox Wii U is going to be released before Zelda Wii U. And Zelda Wii U is still going to be released 2015. Taking that into account, we can hopefully pinpoint a potential release window for Star Fox Wii U and I want to put it at quarter three of this year because usually they leave their Zelda titles and you know seven times out of ten they have them released during November the beginning of the holiday season so I want to go as far as say that Star Fox Wii U may come out sometime September October or even November uh, sometime quarter three and a lot of people is like oh yeah that's really really close hey they announced Majora's Mask 3D and literally three months later it was all on shelves. All right, so Nintendo has that power, and apparently this guy has been developing this game for a while, so it needs to be playable at E3. They need to do some sort of event where they uh, release a demo online for Wii U, and they need to release this game. Because all of this will help, uh, I would say, pry eyes away from the whole Zelda Wii U fia uh, delay fiasco, and that's something they sort of need to do, because I swear, if Star Fox Wii U is delayed until next year, that is going to be a really, really, really big blow that the Wii U is going to suffer, and they cannot afford this kind of crap. Well, there has been a couple of titles rambling up in the air. A lot of people are really uh, speculating that a new Mario game uh, would be released, like a true new Mario game, um, like a successor to the Galaxy series, in the sense that they would reveal it this E3 and release it sometime next E3 or next year. Um, which is putting it very close with the NX release. And I'm not sure if Nintendo should do that. I, I personally believe they should probably focus all their priorities on the NX as of the moment. There's also rumors of Animal Crossing and Animal Crossing is a pretty big series. And there are also other rumors about Paper Mario, which Paper Mario, if that, that was revealed and be, and be released for the Wii U, I wouldn't necessarily have a problem with that. Um, Paper Mario is pretty much a cult favorite in a sense. It doesn't really sell 
too spectacularly, which I think is actually pretty good if you consider the Wii U's install base. If it was somehow released this year, if they just reveal it somehow and sort of they reveal it in E3, then that would actually be good. But I do reckon we'll get Star Fox, Animal Crossing, perhaps Paper Mario or some type of Mario reveal. Yeah, that is definitely a possibility. The thing with Nintendo and E3 is that you never know what they have in store for us. Who would have guessed that they had Splatoon last year in store for, for us and even being playable at the, at the show floor? And then you had Miyamoto with his new project, so it was announced. We got this completely unprepared announcement for, for Star Fox. Uh, which we haven't heard basically nothing about ever since and everyone will now be expecting a trailer and even a playable demo of uh, of Star Fox. Nintendo has definitely a lot in store for us during their digital event this upcoming Tuesday. We were supposed to cover also Square Enix but due to lack of um, footage and mostly time since it's my birthday today I also need to do other things than uh, just editing this video. We will not cover uh, Square Enix in this uh, particular E3 uh, discussion special. Next up tomorrow is the um, final part with Sony and Microsoft so look forward to that one. Until then this was the Commonwealth Realm with HMK, McIntyre Productions, Game Over Jesse and Celtic.